My teaching philosophy is actually called ACTION and it's an acronym where the A stands for active. So I want the students to be active and to build the new knowledge on their own skill set which makes them also um, more proud of learning this knowledge. The, the C stands for contextualization. I want to put back everything we're seeing in the teaching um, classes back into a context where the student can say, oh, I know why we're looking at this, or oh, actually, this is something I see in my day-to-day -day life. The T stands for team work. I think it's very important to have a social aspect when learning. It's sometimes easier for someone to get knowledge and to acquire the knowledge when it comes from a, from a peer than from really a teacher just saying all of this information. The double I, it's an I, and it stands for interactive and individualized. I think it's very important for the teacher to interact with the student. It allows us to evaluate the level of the student, which of course depends on each student, so that we can then give some feedbacks on what is missing or what would be the least to follow to reach the standard of the course. The O stands for goal-oriented. I think it's also very important for the student to know what they're going to, to learn during the session. And finally, the N stands for a nice atmosphere. So uh, having a nice moment will probably help the student to learn best. So all in all, all in all, I, I think that action is a good way to learn and to acquire new knowledge. This is a course actually for bachelor students. They are in the third semester of biology. Every year we have about 65 students attending the, the course and they come really from a, from a broad background, most of them from biology, some of them already know they want to go to plant biology in the future, but some of them have a background in economy and take plant biology as a minor. So it's really interesting to work with such a, a broad range of student background. There are two goals for me for this practical specifically. There is one immediate goal which is to visualize what the students have been learning during the lecture with Matthias Erb, which is happening in the same week. So we basically go in the greenhouse and we can have a look to all the concepts that were mentioned there. So it allows them to understand better and visualize the concepts or notions that have been seen. The second goal that I have is that they remember plant biology or plant defense for long term. So that even in five or ten years, they can still say, oh, do you know there's this plant that can move? Or do you know what you're eating here is actually dangerous? And so on. So that's my second goal, that they remember some plant biology traits for a long time. And at the end, it was also um die noch mehr Punkte zu verdienen, eine Runde, wo man immer etwas sagen muss, was man heute gemacht, gesehen, erlebt hat, was auf den theoretischen Stoff sich bezieht. Und ich denke, genau dieser Punkt am Schluss war eigentlich das Beste daran dass man wirklich nochmal alles in Erinnerung rufen musste, was man heute gemacht hat. So once we arrive in the, in the greenhouse, the group of students have different missions that they have to fill. There are five missions which are uh, compulsory and three alternative missions that they can decide to do or not if they still have time at the end. For each mission, there is a series of readers that they have to follow to find the right plant, answer the questions about these plants, or understand what's happening with those plants and how it could be related to the plant physiology practical. My favorite mission is about how they have to rob uh, a bank safe and then how they can connect that with plant physiology. You can really see them trying to connect. And I hope that now when they watch a movie about robbing a bank, they can still think, oh, that's what is doing <laughs> during plant physiology. For each mission, they get um, a piece of a puzzle. And basically having all of the pieces of the puzzles together will allow them to see the exit code and to exit the greenhouses. But on the top of that, for each mission, the students can earn a certain number of points, which means that at the end, when we all go back to the practical room, we can count the points and get a reward for the best team. So I feel interactive. Und wir hatten ja auch ein Ziel halt mit dem System von Escape Room, 
dass man rauskommen muss in dem Sinn und auch so im Team Fragen zu lösen oder Rätsel herauszufinden, das, das macht, viel, also macht viel mehr Spaß, als wenn man einfach nur da sitzt und unter dem Mikroskop etwas anschauen muss. Klar, ist auch ein Teil davon, aber es ist schön, mal etwas anderes zu tun. Es ist auch viel lebhafter, weil man halt selber etwas machen kann und sich überlegen. Und wenn man dann etwas weiß, dann kommt man zum nächsten Punkt. Also. During the exam, there is always one question about this escape game practical. And I'm always amazed because it is excellent. I mean, it's almost only sixes. It's like all the students can give but this knowledge and they sometimes even wrote more than the answers which I expect. We often found some smiley or saying again that was cool. And it's, it made us proud really. We wondered at the first year, we wondered if, if the question was too easy. So the second year we made it a bit harder, but still the students all answered very well. So we could see from the exam that they really did take this knowledge together with them. Die Veranstaltung war etwas ganz anderes. Es ist wirklich komplett anders, als was wir sonst machen. Wir sitzen halt vier im Labor oder wir machen dann Aufgaben, die halt theoretisch sind. Und das hier war mal etwas Praktisches und das war einfach komplett anders. It's important for the teacher to teach the way they feel comfortable with. But if they feel like they would like to try something like crazy as uh, an escape game, I would say then just go for it, unlock the creativity, uh, gather a team to support you in this work and spend a bit of time on it. It is definitely worth it.